Hey guys and welcome to my unboxing of my ROG Claymore 2 with the ROG RX red switches. When I heard that they're going to release this product with the new or newer switches from Asus or that they offer, I just had to get it. I've been using the Claymore 1 for about 3 years now with the Cherry MX red switches. So I also wanted to know if there's really a difference with these ROG RX red switches. At least what they claim was having way less key wobble. And out of the few interactions I already had with it, I have to say it really makes a difference. You don't notice a key wobble until you try a keyboard that has less. So enough talking and looking at the box. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So first of all, I have to say I like that they made this small handle so I can just pull the entire inside box out. It always makes it easier if you can just pull everything out and then open it up. Besides when everything is just loose in there and you have to pull section by section out. So when you open it up here, you have like this foil with a US layout as reference that gives you some information about the macros or the keyboard. Here we have the keyboard, but as usual we're going to look at that later. Because first we're going to go through everything else. So here we have a small envelope. And inside we have stickers. Then we have the warranty guide or a warranty card. Then we have a quick start guide that we're going to take a closer look in a second. Here we have a welcome guide, basically thanking us for purchasing that expensive product because the keyboard isn't cheap. It's about 280 euros. So let's take a closer look at this for you guys. Okay, enough of the paperwork. Let's see what we get. So, in this middle section, I believe we have the leather wrist rest. If I can get that out. So here we have the leather wrist rest. It has magnets to attach to the keyboard. It, those are not the strongest magnets, so you won't be able to lift it up when you lift up the keyboard with it, but it will hold good enough so it will stay in place when you're gaming. Let me see what we've got in here. Oh, here we have two things. Here's nothing. And just let me try to get that cable out without tearing the box apart. Now, here we go. So, let's open these up. Here we have a USB C to USB A adapter. And then we have what they call dongle extender. Here we have a USB-C cable, so it goes from USB-C to USB-C. If you want to just plug it into a normal USB-A plug, you will have to use the adapter for that. Let me just try to get that out here. Okay. 
Yeah, here you can see the cable USB-C to USB-C. So that was it. That's everything that we get. So let's finally check out the keyboard. So my first impression of the keyboard, seeing it for the first time, was really wow. I like the way it looks and the way it feels. I prefer the design a little bit of the first generation. But this definitely matches more their newer line up. And overall, how the stuff looks like this matches way more than newer 3080. 3070 and the 30 series graphics card as well as 6000 series from AMD. Here in the back, as you saw, we have the dongle, power switch, USB-A port, USB-C port. So you can actually also plug in a USB stick or your mouse into the keyboard if you're not using fast charging. So here we have the keypad. Here got, we got macros. Then we got this wheel for the volume control. Then this side can disattach, so you can attach it to the keyboard. Everything just holds together with magnets. Besides, when you want to attach this to the keyboard, I believe that slides in or I know it slides in. The overall finish looks really, really nice. So that's already everything you get. Let me just lay that here in the picture that you can see it. But before I forget, let me show you the magnets or that it has magnets. You can see it sort of holds the wrist rest. It's not the strongest connection, but it will stay in place on your desk. But you definitely won't be able to lift it up. So thank you for watching. See you next time.